If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. And if you don't like that, I got two words for you. What is good everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today ladies and gentlemen We are back at it again with another WWE Elite figure review And today it is on the new WWE Elite 2 pack DX China and Triple H Very excited to get into this for obvious reasons We thought forever that we would never ever ever see the light of day Where we would get a China Elite action figure A figure ever of Mattel You know we thought that we would have to rely on the Jax figures forever I think any long term collector will tell you that this China release is a big deal to the community. It's a really big deal to the WWE figure community. It's a big deal to everyone collecting that we finally have a China figure. And not only do we get that, but we get another throwback trip. <laughs> Good God. But we also get a throwback Triple H on top of it, which I think will fit perfectly into our DX collections that we've gotten from Mattel thus far. I love the, the green packaging that we got going on. You got all the green details going on. First time in the line, obviously. But the green, you got DX up here. If you guys can see that little DX right there. You got China. You got Triple H on the side. You get a beautiful image of the two right there. On the back, you get a beautiful little display right here. If you'd like to read this little bio, you can pause it right now. You get another image of China and Triple H on the back of the packaging. Triple H X China up here. Elite logo down there. Another image of the two in the ring right there. Green little details going on. I love the black lettering right here with the green outline. I just think it pops off really well. Oh my god, what a save. But that pretty much does it for our packaging of the new two-pack DX China and Triple H. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack these guys out of their packaging. So here is Triple H and China out of their packaging. Guys, looking pretty swell, I might say. All the joints and everything feel pretty good out of the packaging, posing it around. I'm really liking what I'm seeing thus far from this two-pack. For this review, we're not going to really split it up that much. I mean, we are going to take an individual look at the figures, but I think we should cover all of their accessories together, and then we will run it back and take a closer look at Triple H, and then a closer look at China, do some comparisons, and treat it kind of similar as we do to our two-in-one figure reviews when we do, like, regular Elite sets. So what we're going to do is take a closer look at all of their accessories, then we'll run it back, take a closer look at Triple H, then a closer look at China, and take some comparison shots. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the accessories that come with this Triple H and China Elite 2 pack. All right, guys, so for our accessories, you do get two championship belts, some interchangeable hands, and a cloth goods accessory. First up, we do have the European Championship, which we have seen multiple times in the past. You know, nothing new here with the European Championship. This is supposed to be Triple H's European Championship, and you're probably wondering why the hell it comes with the WWF Championship and the European Championship. Well, back in the day, Brad, when China was running around with DX, HBK, and Triple H, she was holding both of their championships. You know, she was running around holding Shawn Michaels' WWF, UF Championship and Triple H's European Championship, and that is why we get two belts right here. You guys know that it only comes with China and Triple H. It doesn't come with Shawn Michaels. The reasoning for that is probably because we have a Shawn Michaels in the Ultimate Edition that looks similar to him around this time, and then we also have the ringside exclusive DX Shawn Michaels from around this same time. So for interchangeable hands, guys, out of the packaging, China does come with open mic hands. She also comes with fists because she was kicking everybody's ass. And then for Triple H, she does come with mic holding hands and also DX suck it hands because you got to do the crotch chop and tell everybody to suck it. And then the final accessory, which is probably the best accessory, is this green cloth robe that does come with the Triple H figure, and I like this a lot. It looks a lot better in person than in the promo pictures, in my own opinion. I like this little forest green color you got going on. This is back in the day, coming out of the Hunter Hearst Helmsley gimmick, transitioning into Triple H. He was still rocking his robes here. Looking pretty good, I might say. I like this color we got going on. No, no sparkles or anything, but you do get some floral type designs going on, some stars and everything. You guys saw how it looked on the figure, and I like this. I think it works great. Any figures that you could put this robe on aren't really coming to mind at this moment, but I am glad to put this in my Triple H collection, and if I find this at retail again, I'll probably grab another one to put some on other Triple H figures that we've gotten, but we'll just have to see about that. You know, I, I don't know if this thing's going to be found at retail. I'm not sure if it's going to be like the Elite 2 pack with AJ and Finn or, or Samoa Joe and Rey Mysterio. I feel like I never saw those. With Toys R Us going out of business, it's probably going to be really difficult to find this thing at retail, but who knows? You know, I'll, I'll try to get some more 
more info on that if I can. But that does it for their accessories, guys. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Triple H. So for Triple H, guys, getting into his figure alone, you guys will see here that the head sculpt is not new. We have seen this exact head sculpt, I think, a few times now, specifically the Elite 23 figure, but I do think they did add TrueFX technology to it. We will do a comparison shot in the next segment of the video, but I think it looks like Triple H, I, I mean, I guess a different head mold or maybe the, what was it, the SummerSlam Heritage or one of those older Triple H head sculpts, I think in the purple attire with the, the long down haircut with the... With the clean shaven would have also worked for this head sculpt. As we saw in the back of the packaging, going down into the torso, we've seen this torso before. It's the Mizdow style torso, the Zack Ryder style torso. You got the giant arms, white wrist, tape, nothing, nothing too crazy going on with this. Into the attire, pretty plain attire. One thing I will notice is my freaking belt buckle has some paint chipping on it and the silver kind of dragged off right there. I can actually fix that up, but that is still annoying that I'll have to do that. Going down into the trunks or the tights, guys, we do have this royal blue color coming on and the inner thighs, which was similar to how Triple H kind of rocked his attires back in the day. It's coming across kind of purplish on the camera, but it is royal blue. We do get the beautiful looking knee pads with the forest green to match the robe inside the H's here with the silver outline, which looks really, really good. I believe our DX Elite 23 Triple H came with like really large knee pads, so it's nice to see his designs here. And then he just has regular black boots. I mean, it's a pretty plain Jane figure, you know, nothing too, too crazy with this two-pack. I would say that the robe and China is definitely the big deal in this set and I think this is not the only Elite China that we will get so that is really nice. I think we're going to get one in the main Elite line coming soon and if it's not there it will be in one of those exclusive sets but, but that is pretty much our Triple H figure guys. Let's go ahead and do some Elite Triple H figure comparisons. So for our Triple H Elite figure comparisons, guys, you do have the middle DX 2-pack in the middle. You got the Elite 23 on the left, and then the Network Spotlight Hunter Hearst Helmsley on the right, and you guys can kind of see the way that his attires used to be. It was basically just your regular belt buckle logo like you will see here on the Hunter Hearst Helmsley figure, and then some inner thigh coloring, and then some black boots, and then over here you do have my fix-up with just a cloth DX t-shirt. DX helmet from the Invasion. Really nice. I like both of these a lot. I think they all fit in very nicely together, as you you guys can see with all the comparisons and now we will do the little head scan shot because this is the exact same head sculpt except it does have true effects technology applied to it it doesn't seem like it but uh you guys can see there that it is a little bit painted differently there's something about the eyes and eyebrows or something like that that is a little different we'll go ahead and remove the helmet and you guys can see the little difference between the two there and they are different they are slightly different and if i'm being honest with you i think i like the untrue effects version better and i like the hair color better over here i don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. But that is pretty much your Triple H Elite figure comparisons and if you guys wanted to see a little Triple H comparison again one more time, we do have, we have the Ultimate Edition Triple H up next to the new 2-pack Elite Triple H right there and all the good business going on. But now that we've covered that guys, let's dive into China herself. So diving into China herself guys, you will see you do have the China head sculpt right here. I think it looks pretty solid. I think the eye makeup probably would have made it look a little bit better here. But I think it does have the likeness to China. Again, this is not going to be our only China figure that we get from Mattel. Bill did say that we are going to get more coming out. We are going to get more China Elite, so that is going to be very nice to see. I cannot wait for that day. I think they're going to get better and better. You got the bang haircut going on. I think this is actually loose right here, so you could take this uh, this little collar off if you wanted to. Going down into the chest, it looks pretty good. You got the musculature going all the way on. You got the stomach here. Same diaphragm as we've seen on other uh, women's Elite figures, which look good. You got the gigantic arms and shoulders because that's China, right? I mean, she was massive. She was a bodybuilder. She would literally beat the hell out of everyone. I mean, she was the Intercontinental Champion, bro. I mean, I don't know what to say. Going down in the crotch, you got the handcuffs going across here for the belt buckle. Got some nice rips in the pants going on. Stud belt and everything like that. I like the mold we got going on. Looks pretty clean. Double jointed knees, which look absolutely fantastic. The split seats aren't the best. You know, her legs can't split out the best, but I think she is on ball joints if anybody was wondering. Let me check. Yes, she is on ball joints, and then if you guys wanted to see how good the double jointed knee is here, you can get her to kick all the way up, so that is really really nice. And now we have probably my favorite part of the figure, and that is the boots. I love this boot mold that we got going on with the straps and the front of the tongue of the boot hanging down. I think that looks great. It kind of reminds me of the Eric Young Elite 65 figure, but I love all this silver over the details of the buckles, over the over the toe caps of the little shoelaces, little spots right here where they go through. I think that looks great. I think all of the, all of the 
silver detailing really makes the boots pop off. I, I think this figure is fantastic, man. If you if you want to try to figure to add to your Attitude Era shelf or your DX shelf or anything like that, which is probably a must grab, this figure is great, man. I think it looks great. It poses great, and it also has ankle pivot, which is freaking lovely. You do get a little bit of boot rotation here. I'm kind of struggling to get it to turn around, but it does turn all the way, so you do get some good articulation going on with this figure. And you guys will notice it does have the newer arm technology, but that does allow for an elbow rotation and a single jointed arm, and the single jointed arm isn't the best, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. I still think it looks really good. But that is pretty much our China figure, guys, so let's dive into some elite China figure comparisons. So for your China Elite figure comparisons, guys, I didn't have a China figure before this, but I do have the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey and Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch to try to get a comparison on how big this China figure is. You guys can see that she towers over both ladies. I think that her boots and everything really carries in nicely. You know, she was a she was massive, bro. She she towered over folks and she dominated and she looks really good up next to these. You guys can see the height difference between the two. How she just towers over Becky here and everything like that. I think that is great. Not only did I want to get that comparison in there, but I also wanted to compare it to uh, some other Triple H's as well as uh, a, a DX Shawn Michaels, right? Because you got to get that in there, and we'll also do another DX shot with X-Pac and Road Dog. but here is Triple H, and then here is Shawn Michaels. So here's all three up next to each other. You guys can kind of get an idea of the height requirement there between all three. I think these three look great up next to each other. Really beautiful stuff. I'm so happy to add this China to the collection. Need to make my own DX shelf, but you guys know I do individual, you know, different rows for my collection, but there is that. And then if you want to get uh, Shawn Michaels out of there and you want to look at some other guys, I do not have a Billy Gunn for whatever reason, but if you guys wanted to see what X Pac look like up next to China, and then if you wanted to see Road Dog up next to China as well, here is the full gang without Billy Gunn, which is kind of upsetting. But there you go. I, I do not have a DX Billy Gunn just yet, but maybe one day I can add one to the collection. I really want the Elite 27 with the lime green trunks. The pink one is nice too with the Hall of Champions, like the Hall of Champions Road Dog. But I really do want the Elite 27 with the lime green trunks. That brings back some nostalgia for me. But that does it for your China Elite figure comparisons. But that pretty much does it for this WWE Elite 2-Pack review on the brand new DX Triple H and China Elite 2-Pack. Guys, I had a ton of fun with the review. I will say, if you guys did not like this review, I have two words for you. But in all seriousness, I had a lot of fun reviewing these figures. I'm super excited to get a China Elite figure in the collection. The Triple H is also a nice bonus, especially when you add in the cloth robe and the championships and the interchangeable hands. I think it fits in perfectly. I've ran out of room on my Triple H shelf, so this is just fan-freaking-tastic, man. I gotta move my collection around. I gotta add some shelves and everything to the room. I'm gonna have to rearrange and get new shelves added so that I can get all of my collection up on the shelf because it's really tiresome having to take figures and put them on other random shelves where they fit and then having to put them in the box and it's really crappy because it really damages the figures when you stack them on top of each other like that. If you guys would like to pick up these figures yourselves, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com and pick this thing up. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would really, really appreciate it here at the channel if you want to show your support. Definitely go over order something over there using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Huge shout out to Ringside for making this review possible and hooking us up with these figures. I'm getting the hell out of here. Highly recommended set if you're an Attitude Era fan, if you want a China figure, if you missed out on the Elite 23 Triple H or the Network Spotlight, this is a good figure to get. Overall, impressed with it. I like it a lot. I would recommend this two-pack to anybody. But thank you guys for watching. That does it for the review. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDadToys. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. Get the Twitter account up. Guys, you gotta get the Twitter followers up at my damn toys go make an account and i will see you guys in the next video thank you